With the recent release of Silver Wolf, she has shaken the meta quite a bit, bringing with her a unique ability to apply a random force weakness from an ally onto an enemy, on top of having the ability to apply defense down and resistance down, Silver Wolf is quite a powerhouse of the support, enabling your DPS to dish out more damage while also allowing them or herself, depending on luck, to break shields against enemies who don't have that weakness. Compared to Pella, Silver Wolf is the preferred character to run in most teams when considering placements. Not only does she provide reasonable debuff, she is quite SP efficient at it due to her passive talent awaiting system response, which makes any of her attacks apply a random bug. Thus, you can use her basic attack over her skill without much setback, in turn opening options for allies to use their skills more often, in this case, my Clara. Whereas Pella, her important debuff is locked behind an ultimate which requires you to spam skills or excel at turns to get it back, which can become steep with a price tag of only 2 turns for her AoE defense down. In later Memory of Chaos floors such, such as 7 through 10, we're forced to fight 3 waves, meaning there is no room to breathe and managing skill points is crucial to a successful run. In the case of Pella, the longer the battle is drawn out, the less effective she becomes at applying crucial supporting rule for your DPS. Whereas the Silver Wolf, she has a better uptime at applying the necessary debuffs to support your team while maintaining SP costs. But for those seeking a challenge or on a budget, you can still use Pella. However, if you do, I recommend Resolution Shines as Pearls of Sweats or if willing to try your luck, Incessant Rain to fulfill her task passive talent to compensate for her lack of debuffs until her ultimate. Both will trigger her talent to gain some energy back as well. Funny enough, it does allow Pella to be SP efficient while gaining back energy, but only if said debuff lands and if debuffs are still there prior to the initial hits. The setback between the two at this point is control and additional shreds that Sh Silver Wolf offers since she also has a chance to apply slow or attack down on top of the impairs. Both are crucial in higher floor memories of chaos. Note that by being a nihility character, both are susceptible to resistance check, so it further comes down to who can apply the necessary debuff in a timely fashion without wasting turns. Every turn does count in the memories of chaos, and every role must be filled to the fullest. This is simply my take between the two, both are fine and at the end it is your choice on who you prefer. Now for this team you're seeing here, you must be wondering well Fable, now that is just absurd. Hear me out, I'm sacrificing an increase in taunt chance for increased damage potential while lowering the chances of enemies attacking Clara when her ultimate is down. However, as mentioned in prior videos, I compensate by bringing Tinian who excels at speeding up ultimates making it almost pointless to bring March, especially since Clara has a self taunt plus her technique, opening slot for potential increase to my damage as in the case of Silverwolf. In addition, with Silverwolf as the fourth member, not only do I increase Clara's damage, she also opens up two additional factors. One is less turns to clear, and two, an additional source of damage. When I had March against this wave, you'll notice that I cleared this wave rather slowly, almost 10 turns or more. The biggest reason is because my Marge is not built for DPS. Her source of damage are from the ultimate and basic, one of which you rarely want to use because you don't want them frozen for this comp, and the other doesn't do much until E4. So it's almost trivial to try and make her do any massive damage, and thus hinders the run. Which comes back to me running Silver Wolf over Marge to speed up the issue with Clara's old comp. A lack of secondary damage source, plus extra damage potential since March's one and only job was simply to increase Clara's chance of being attacked. Overall, would I recommend you to pull for Silver Wolf? Yes. But is she mandatory? No. Now with that out of the way, let me show you the stats. Alright, so not much has changed for my Clara, I just managed to get increase her crit rate and her crit damage. That's really about it for her. Her light cone is still the same, her traces are still the same, her relics, the only thing I replaced was her champion's headgear. <laughs> That's really about it. Uh, and then her Devolins, of course she's still E0. 
for Bailu, not much has changed as well. She instead of running her uh, light cone, I swapped it to share feelings for the increase of energy regen and of course a little bit more healing. That's really about it. I don't like her uh, light cone. It's really niche. It's not as effective. So you can use this, this, or this. Right. That's really about it. Her traces, a little bit of investment this time, like plus two to her healings, and that's really about it. And in her relics, they're still the same. And in her idolins is E0. Now for Tinyun, um, I did pull a Branya while pulling for Silver Wolf, so I gave Branya back her comb, and instead I gave Tinyun Carve the Moon, which is a Battle Pass uh, light cone. If you don't have this, you can use Dance Dance, Memories of the Past, or even Past and Future. These are all fine, or even um, the three star one meshing cogs, these are all good as well. Because at the end of the day, the goal is to get Tinyun's all up as fast as possible, right? And she was not at this level as well, she was like level 71. And this, when I did clear MOC, uh, full three stars, she was at a... Uh, 71 with around 18 to 1900 attack so it was pretty low and this was also like level 40 <laughs> so it was kind of bad but uh traces are still the same relics still the same idolins is still e6 you don't need e6 if you don't have e6 it's just more investment into her attack and that's really about it so for silver wolf she is she was not around this level um when i did clear moc 10 she was around 65 during that time but it was it still did its job. Um, her light cone, as you can see, I do have it. If you don't have her light cone, you can use the event light cone instead. It will just do fine. It will give you more all uptime, of course, versus the 12% uh, increase in damage, which I prefer over the increase in ult. That's just me. <laughs> but if you have this, this, this is fine. Um, traces, it's. Again, like I said, not much investment. I'm broke on gold right now to try and get any of these up. So this is what I'm working with. Relic, if you're wondering why, it's because I'm using spare leftover sets. I don't have a spare quantum set for her at all. So I'm using using these if you're curious about the, the, the main stats and the substats. These are what I'm running on her right now, right? Nothing crazy. They're just whatever. And then her Idolin, she is E0. So yeah, that's my silver wolf for you. Uh, over March, if you're wondering for the for the Clara comp, I prefer silver wolf because while March is nice, she doesn't help Clara do more damage, and at the end of the day, MOC is all about damage. So I prefer silver wolf for this for the sake that Clara does have increased damage, and she offers a little bit more damage because my March is not built for damage at all. <laughs> Even if I have her like E5. I just don't have the means to get her to do damage and even with it, it's probably really low damage output so Silver Wolf is there for that as well and yeah, that's really it for the comp. If you have any questions and concerns, whatever, just drop it in a comment. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability and that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoy and take care. Bye everyone.